All right, ladies and gents, it's Greg and Duncan playing Firewatch. I've been really looking forward to this game, hoping it's going to be a little spooky, um, but we'll see. I know the E3 trailer made it seem kind of like a creepy serial killer ghost hunting you, so we'll find out, and uh, hopefully it's good. What if it's the Sasquatch? Plot twist. Spoiler if alert, you, everyone. If you... I'm about to just not even play it. <laughs> I'm going to be so mad if you're right. <laughs> I I have made the prediction. We will see if I'm right. <laughs> All right, let's start. All right, here we go. 1975. All right. It's a retro wilderness the game. You see Julia. Okay. <laughs> we, we see Julia. Do I? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 20 is laughing with full dress professors. Correct. Out drinking with your pals, you approach her. You are drunk. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so what's uh, your, you know, major? You, you're pretty. Which one? You want a head on? Oh, yeah, yeah. You're pretty. Wait, she says coolly. You are not. You are a future hangover. What? You reply, confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger. She says. She flags down a waiter, and one week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Yes, it worked. I am completely <laughs> confused. <laughs> <laughs> uh, elevator! Just, Don't save. This? Don't save in the elevator. It, it's auto save. Hey, look, backpack. Wait. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Truck. Do you get to drive the truck? A mini game. Drive it. Drive the truck. Yes. Yes. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. Is that what it's like? <laughs> <laughs> you move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Oh no. What? I have a bad feeling. Julia wants to get happen. a dog. Oh no! There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. Oh no. It's badass. Oh no. No, get the Shepherd, dude. It's gonna protect us in the wilderness. Wait, you pick up the beagle and she names him Bucket. You adopt the Shepherd and name him Mayhem. I don't know. I kind of like the idea of having a protective dog. I know, but I don't want her to break up with me over the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Although my my aunt and uncle have a beagle ranger, and he will protect my aunt, or tries to. All right, Bucket's a good dog, and a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him too. Does the does the German Shepherd come back for revenge? Is that revenge. what happens? 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer. 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> kids? They're not very smart or He's good at much. He's just like me. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple of little idiots, that would be pretty good. One day, why rush? <laughs> you want to play this true life or? <laughs> no. <laughs> she looks away. Out towards the mountains. We have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, mister. Don't worry, you assure her. So you don't want her to break up with you over the dog, but when it comes time to have the kids, you <laughs> There's have to a big off. difference. <laughs> <laughs> you tell her she has the body of an undergrad. My ovaries didn't get the memo, she says, laughing it off. One day, okay? Okay, one day, she says. Six months later, you get engaged like, wait, wait, wait. on a Sunday morning. So this is like flashbacks as we we're going out I think to be so. a park ranger. I, I know, I think I know what's going to happen, but I'm not going to ruin it. But I have a good idea about the Very backstory. Okay, cool. We'll find out. I'm still rooting for the Sasquatch plot twist, but you know. 1980. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. Oh no. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad, or you ignore her. Hmm. You've got to get mad. Nah, I'm passive aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you don't touch each other all night. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. A pill of resentment? You make some <laughs> coffee and go to work. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. <laughs> you pose and flex like He-Man. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Are you frolic like a Victoria's Secret I don't model? Know. <laughs> uh, I'm a manly that, that's man. Up, that's up to you. <laughs> you <Yes>. look awesome. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Just walking in the woods. It's really pretty. Ooh. Two forks. Fire lookout, okay. Push X to. Who I got? <laughs> Wait, really? I couldn't just step over <laughs> that. <laughs> 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. Uh oh. Don't walk your dog at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Oh no. No. Why do we pick bucket? <laughs> yeah, I know. No. I told you. No, go back. I told you. <laughs> no. Bucket gets kick. No. Well, this is so sad. She has trouble speaking when she is stressed. Uh. I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> you reach into your pocket like you've got a gun and threaten to kill him. You manage to scare all three <laughs> of you. What? He runs away. Okay. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Ooh. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut. I knew that. 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She Wait. wants to move. You absolutely do not. I don't like either Commutes back and forth? That's impossible. No, I, I, I don't like either of these decisions. No. You can't... How can you... Well, I think they mean like you come home every once in a while. Yeah, but that sucks. <sighs> That's rough. I mean, I would never want to not... Yeah. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you... Oh, move. three times each. That's not bad at all. Three <laughs> times a semester? That's you tell her not to pass it up it's like once that, a month. if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Yeah, that's not too bad. You can see where this is going. Spending those frequent flyer miles. 1985. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode... She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Oh no! This is sad. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink <laughs> wine and try to forget about it. Hey. Maybe you should definitely get help. <laughs> After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. Oh, no. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Oh no. Okay, so I was a little wrong about the plot. <laughs> oh no. Alright. He- Oh no, you pose nude for the He-Man photo. <laughs> oh no. The drawing. Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. 1987, Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days, you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. Wow, that's Yeet. creepy. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. Wow. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility. You are determined to take care of her by yourself. Oh no! I mean, yeah. I'm going like, grandpa route. Yeah, definitely. That's like saving all my choices. Yep. This is rough. 
right? It's way- this is way more depressing than I thought what was going on in my head. I thought she was just gonna die. Yeah. Like, get hit by a car and then... Yeah. Ooh! <gasps> Those are dangerous. Wildlife, don't approach it. Ah, run away! <laughs> <laughs> it is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. <laughs> You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. Aww. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then, too. Oh no. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door. You trust that she sleeps like a rock. Ooh, this is bad either way. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge oh, no. way off. You're home oh, no. and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. You look forward to oh, those no. nights. Oh no. Oh no. This is getting worse. No. 1989. One night you were stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a point ten and are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Oh my goodness. This is getting ugly. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A oh, few no. weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. No. <laughs> oh no. You take it. That's so inconclusive if that's where it stops. No. Oh no. <laughs> Ooh, yep. Time. Of course, that's exactly where it stops. Great. All right, here we go. Oh, oof. A little chug. That's okay. That save. Yeah. It takes a long time for it to auto save. I really like the art direction. That's so pretty cool. cool. I love the background. How it's all like. Mm. Very like. That's one way to fix draw distance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Look at that. That's cool. Oh yeah, that's... Oh wow, it even tells you? That's so cool. Hmm. Wait, where's the... Wait, hang on, I think I missed the door. <laughs> no, uh, it's either in the front or all the way around. Oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... Uh, there? Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> whap! <laughs> so what were we saying at this point? Oh yeah, that's right. Draw distance. It's beautiful. <laughs> well, well, really like the I art direction on this my game. Head on the... Ow. Don't hit your head. Look, I found a glitch. <laughs> You're out in the wilderness by yourself. Hey. Don't want to hit your head. <laughs> <laughs> and we won't miss the door this time. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. Whap. Punch it. <laughs> Hello, Two Forks Tower. You have some meaty hands. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. Okay. Hello, so Delilah. What's wrong with you? Excuse me? What? We will take this job to get away from something. So what's wrong? Huh. What's wrong with you? <laughs> that's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days so i don't really follow whatever it is you're doing what? it takes two days to get there you yeah I mean, that's... Stab it, what's wrong with me fine then can i like, sleep forever <laughs> what sure, buddy okay now go ahead okay <laughs> you're probably just rebelling against a mom who wishes you had given her grandkids by the sound of your voice at least 15 years ago you come out here and it really grinds her gears and you love it can i sleep now <laughs> She also says I fuck immature men, but in my defense, who wouldn't want a 28-year-old with ambition and energy and some fire in his belly in bed? Hey, I'm going now. <laughs> Just a second, now it's my turn. Okay, good night, bye. Let's see, I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Oh, is that it? Close? Good night. <laughs> good night, <laughs> welcome to the job. <laughs> Day one. Yes. No trophies? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> now you get to sleep. What if you just hung out and did nothing? 
It'll be, it's like, um... Or is that the job? Like, are you just supposed to walk around and, like, see if there's a fire? It's like, oh, yes. Not a, that's a exactly fire. what this game is. <laughs>